feminism is not a word that is popular anywhere in the world, but particularly mm -hmm. not in my continent. I don't sort of have days when I put on my feminist hat. It's an integral part of who I am. I live it. There's, there's a bit of the messiah complex in my feminism. Yeah. I want to save the world from itself, but also I want a better world. I think that there's a part of me that just deeply wants things to change. I want things to change. The thing that's interesting, I think, in particular about America is that it thrusts identity on you. You have to. You don't actually have a choice. And you look at history and study, people don't just wake up and say, come take my privilege. Unless you have more producers, you will not have more cultural content that has black people. Um, Shonda Rhimes making TV shows in America has changed the landscape. It took a black woman to realize that it's actually Love possible, yes, to have a black woman be the babe rather than the sassy friend. So on the one hand, of course, you should be inclusive. But I do worry that sometimes the idea of being inclusive can mean that you have to speak for everyone. And I have a problem with that. I cannot speak for everyone. I don't know what it means to be a white feminist. I do know about being a black feminist, an African feminist. I want to live life on my own terms. And I don't want gender to determine what I can and cannot be. I think it's a shame that to be female is to constantly think about managing how you portray your anger. There have been long reams of paragraphs written about how angry I am. Um, and you know, sort of things like her childhood must have been terrible. That is why she's so angry. I mean, there's all of that. And, and when, I, when I hear of these things, I claim the anger. I'm like, yes, I am angry, right? I hope you are. We should all be fucking angry. I think men are feminists. I think more men should be feminists. I'm not one of those feminists who think that to be feminist, you have to be born with a vagina. I mean, my experience is that the women I've dealt with in general, in different places of work, generally are more competent than the men, but the men generally think that they are better. You're probably never going to change your father or your uncle, and it's fine. I adore my father, my daddy's girl, but there's some things that we just will always disagree on, and I just have decided to let it go. There's room for laughter in my life and, um, and joy. And I really do feel, in general, a kind of optimism about, about possibilities. I really do genuinely believe that human beings can change. I believe that because I've seen that.